I've been given this Nintendo Switch to have a look at. This is modded, and it's not booting currently. It says there's a problem with the SD card reader. So let's just see if we can work this out. I've, I've never modded a Switch or used one, so I don't really know, but I've been told you need to put this dongle in. And then turn it on, I guess. Ah, okay. What's that say? Fatal error. Fail to initialize the SD card. Press power to reboot. Yeah, okay. Same again. I mean, the first thing I would try is a different SD card, but I'm assuming that's already been done. Right, I've just tried the SD card in my PC and it picks it up no problem, so I suspect it's a problem with the reader. So let's take this thing apart, let's have a look on the inside, see if we can see anything obvious. I've also been told it may have water damage, which obviously means that it's got water damage. So it's possibly going to be corrosion, but I'm not really going to know until we get inside it. So let's do it. Oh, it's got a nice little crack in the corner there. I didn't do that. That was already broken. Also got a screw missing here. So I suspect this has been apart before. I don't know whether you need to take them apart to mod them. I don't really know how it works. Probably not. It's probably all done on software, isn't it? But, but I don't know. Right. That was easy. And the SD card slot's right there. So I might not even need to take this apart any further. There's no obvious signs of corrosion, but I suppose that means anything, does it? Right, well, that came out far too easily. I'm not even sure that was connected. <laughs> I don't think that was connected. I think it's as simple as that. I'm guessing this has been dropped. So I don't think I'm going to bother releasing this video if this fixes it. Right, let's try that. Oh, that was a different error. Fatal error. Fail to find timing table. Oh, there we go. Alright, well I won't be re releasing this video, will I? Two days later. It turned on, I thought, right, that's it. But it's come back to me because the problem has reoccurred. So there's obviously something going on with the connection. So let's open it up again and let's have a look at the SD card and see if we can see what's going on. And just while I'm opening this up, shout out to my Holy Hand Grenade patrons. This week, Tidda, Ellis Garbutt and Jamrag Berlin. Thanks very much for your support, guys. Much appreciated as always. All right, there we go. So the SD card is here. So I didn't really need to take... I didn't need to take any of this out because I literally got to this point and this, was, this wasn't connected. But now it is connected. Yeah. Let's take it off. Let's just have a look at that under the microscope. Right, so I mean, that it looks fine there, doesn't it? It doesn't look like there's anything actually wrong with the SD card reader itself. I mean, I do have another one. I can just swap it over and just see if that fixes it. But I suspect there's something else going on. Let's have a look at the connector on the the switchboard. Aha! What do we have here? Or what do we not have here? More to the point. There's a pin missing there, isn't there? Well, where has that gone? I don't know how easy that's going to be to replace. Probably not very. Yeah. Ah... Uh, Right, well, let's open this up and let's. We're gonna have to take the board out. I do have a donor board, which I can take this connector off, but it's absolutely tiny. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to, to switch it out, but I'll give it a go. Hmm. The water indicator is pink. But it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like there's any corrosion on the board. Well, not, nothing visible anyway. Let's disconnect this battery and let's uh, let's take this board out. Thermal paste always goes everywhere. I should probably clean it off now because I'm going to have to replace it with the incorrect amount anyway. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult because there's lots of connectors around here, plastic as well. I'm going to have to heat from the underside. Luckily, there's no components directly on the other side of it. I'm not looking forward to this. I suppose it would make sense to add some low melt solder to these joints in the hope that it comes off nice and easy. 
I'm just really worried about these connectors here and this one here. And it's, let's get some aluminum tape. All right, I've added the tape. I'm going to see if I can get this. I'm going to add some low melt solder. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get my soldering iron here because it's so small. Uh, I should be able to, but I mean, I can melt this connector, it doesn't matter. But when I take the one off the donor board, I obviously can't. Alright, I'm just going for it. I mean, I got it off okay, it's just I'm worried about taking the one off the donor board. I think I'm going to completely ruin it. Let's grab the donor board. Alright, there's the donor one. Right, how do I get that off? Right, I've got one of these angled nozzles, which I haven't actually used yet. I'm going to try that, see if I can get underneath this. Here we go, nozzle on. Really nervous. Oh, it's melting the flux, which is a good start, I suppose. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, has that come off in one piece? I hope so. Yes, that looks pretty good to me. Let's try and put it straight onto the, the other board. Alright, let's do this. Oh, nice. I think that's moved into place now. Yep. I'm going to leave it at that, I think. Let's see if that is connected. Well, it seems to be solid. I'll just have to have a close look at it to make sure they're all connected. Let's clean it up. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. Let's check the other side. Nice. I've surprised myself a little bit there. I didn't think I'd be able to do that one. Yeah, very pleased with that. Right, I'm going to take this tape off and see what I've melted, and then we'll give it a good clean, and then we can test it. Right, let's have a look at these connectors. Oh, they look like they're still intact to me. Excellent. Yeah, I think we're all good. Do you know what? Out of all the things I've done, I think that was the most difficult. And I've done quite a few different chip replacements and and so on, but that, I suppose it's just the first time I did it, I was quite nervous, I was quite nervous with that, I mean it might not work, but it looks good, it looks like it's soldered on nicely, alright so let's put it back together and let's see if it works, and just before I put this fully back together I obviously need to put the incorrect amount of thermal paste on, there it goes, nice. I mean, I should probably have tested it before I did that, but hey, I'm feeling hopeful. 
and just the incorrect amount here as well. Nice. Battery back in. All right, let's try and connect this reader up now. Hopefully it goes in without issue. <laughs> Well, it's definitely gone in. Right, time to test. Here goes. Yes! Get in. Beautiful. Oh, that's incredible. It works. Do you have to leave this in? Can you take that out now? I don't know. Like I said, I know nothing about modded consoles. Oh, looks like you can take it out. I've uh, forgotten how to play this. Aha. Oh, this is awesome. Oh. Hoodabada. Hoodabada. 